Okay guys, here we go. Welcome to Technical Tuesday. This may start, tell you. Pyongyang. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna warm up by using our patterns and then we're gonna be concentrating a little bit on set sparring for technical improvements today. Okay, so again, come to attention, tell you. Pyongyang, Chun Bi. Ready position, okay. So I'm gonna do patterns as well. Don't get confused copying me, because it's like wrong way around. Okay, so four directional punching number one, both ways in your own time. Gonna turn around this way, using low block. Here we go, Chun Bi, Seizure. Okay, four directional punch number two with middle block. Seizure. Moving on, going straight to Chun Ji. Chun Bi, Chun Ji Tool. Seizure. Right, okay, so if you run out of patterns, stick to the ones you do know. We're going all the way up to, I can see, black straw. We're going all the way up through colour belt syllabus. Okay, so work up and down the ones that you do know. So we're all still doing something together to get nice and warm. Okay, Chun Bi, this is Dangan Tall. Seizure. Moving straight along. So again, stay with what you do know. Let's make sure we're all doing something. So we're all still working together. This is Do Santor with 24 moves. Seizure. That last position, fists, parking position, all in place. Here we go, barrel. Okay, good work, moving on. One yo tool, mo chumbi sagi a chumbi. Okay, 28 moves, see ya.
Well, good work. I'm going to crack straight on. Stay with what you do know, moving down all the way to four directional, punching and back up a bit if you need to. We're getting close though now, okay. Clear up, Chundi. This is your doctor with 38 moves. Seizure. Looking good, kids. Keep it up. Good, okay, so we're getting warmer, so let's keep nice and strong now when we're going through these techniques. Just like we're in real class. This is our real class for now. Are we done? Are we in that last position? Okay, battle. Cool. Oh. Let's move on. Moe Chumbi Soggy B. I'm going to watch from now on because, yeah, me doing them, then uh, we're all finishing at different times, so. Trying to help you out a little bit as well. Okay, Mo Chumi Soggy B. This is Jung Gun Tull with 32 moves. Seizure. Okay, so as long as we're all doing a pattern and we're all working hard together, we've still got that shared experience. And it's just like we're all together in the same dojo. So I'm not gonna know we're finished unless we're all holding that strong position. Not everybody's finished, so keep it there, guys. Okay, barrel. Oh, good work. Again, Mo Chumbi Soggy B. Getting close now. This is Toy Gato with 37 movements. CJ. Okay, think about how we can improve though when we're going through these moves. Think about how we can change things for the better. Think about watching the patterns we have on our website, on the YouTube channel. Thinking about reading your syllabus book, checking your technique, looking in the mirror, having a look at your technique, thinking about what we can do to change it, to make it better. So think about if we're not changing it for the better, then it's often the case we're choosing to do it wrong or we're choosing to stay where we are rather than to improve. Okay, battle. Nearly there. Last couple. Moa Chumbi, Soggy C, Chumbi. And this is Warrantal. Seizure. Oh yeah, it's looking sharp from senior grades, keep it up. Okay, somebody's, uh, hmm. somebody's image is upside down there. Maybe you can check that on your own device because uh, there's nothing I can do to help you. I can't, I can't help you with your, hmm. 
yeah, I can't help you, can I? <laughs> You're appearing upside down to me. There's not much I can do to help that. So make sure you can see your image the correct way around. Keep it strong, keep it strong. Nearly there. We're not all finished yet though. Hold it strong. Got to wait for the whole class to finish. So remember, we are, if we're getting rusty on our patterns, that's mm, that's not really uh, very good, is it? Seeing as all of the patterns are available on the website and on the YouTube channel, that's something we can be practicing. Nearly there. Hold it. Well done, Alfie. Barrel. Okay, last one. This is Chun Mu. If we know Chun Mu, great. If not, do something different. I want to watch everybody now. So this needs to be the strongest pattern you've got. Whatever pattern you're doing, let's have a look. Chun Bi. Seizure. Great start from everybody again. Keep this going. Again, think about not just going through the motions of the pattern, think about how we can improve those techniques all the time. Busy class like this on the screen, I can't help everybody. So if you want to be helped, make sure you contact me to book a private class. And we'll have a good 25 minute session that I can help point you in the right direction then. Keep it strong guys, looking for that end position to be very strong indeed. And if we're not standing statue still, then I don't know if you're finished. So make sure you get a nice, strong, static finish pose. Hold it there. And I think we're almost done. Barrel, chill and relax. Okay. Just gonna have a quick look around the screen, see who we got. I think we're all gonna be okay with this. Three-step sparring. Um, for our seniors, we do a lot of two-step sparring in the one-to-one -one sessions. So I think we can do our three-step variations and some one-step sparring. This should be good. Okay, let's go. Jay, it's Kyung Yay. Chun Bi. Right, you guys. Right leg back, low block, Chun Bi. Good, okay, so we just want you to step forward, three step sparring, I'm gonna do the defense. Okay, one move at a time, single punches forwards, ready? One, two, three. Battle, my attack, ready. Hannah, ball, set. Good, barrel. Let's do that again. Exactly the same. Back leg block, Chun B. The only difference is I'm going to do something else at the end. Okay, I'm going to do something else at the end. Single punches to me. Ready? One, two, three. So I did my reverse punch and I added a ridge hand strike high section. Oh, my attack, Chun B. So I want you to do the reverse punch, but add anything else as well. Add something else to the mix as well. Ready? One, two, three. Battle. Chum, and relax. Okay, good. Step forwards a little. Give yourself some space. So we know there are 10 
different elements in three steps barring 10 different ones, 10 different defenses. So I'm going to attack 10 times. OK, so I want you to think about your three step sparring, but do something different on the end. Even when we get to the kicking one, step back, front kick, double punch. You want to add something else, whatever it is. I'm not even going to make a suggestion. The only suggestion is on that first one, I did reverse punch and ridge hand. So we can think about kicking as well. Do something different. OK, at least one thing, ideally maybe a couple of things. Three or four things is pushing it a bit, it's going to take too long. We're just going to think about using this to start our brain ticking over a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to attack every time. Chundi, I'm just going to step forward three punches, follow my image on the screen. So this is the second attack. This is number two, however you want to deal with that. Us. Oh, good. Give yourself some space again. So every time we finish, I'm going to come back to my prep position for attack. Chun B. My third attack. Us. So if you do number three, inward block. Do something else as well after the back fist. Oh, back again. My fourth attack. So this would be middle block in L stance and double punch in sitting stance to defend if you know it. If you don't know it, do one of the ones you do know. If you do know it, add something else on, whatever it might be. Think about something else. Us. Adam. Okay, here we go. This is my attack number five. Us. Good, okay, so whatever you're doing, do it technically. So we're technically correct. My attack for number six, us. Good, so number six was the knife hands to finish. And we're adding something else. Number seven, front kick double punch normally. So we've got to think of something else as well after the standard defence. Us. Good work, okay, battle. So again, remember all of our set sparring, three step sparring, two step sparring are all on our website, linked to our YouTube channel as well. Chun B, this is my attack for number eight. Normally, sidekick, knife, and strike. We're going to add something else as well. Us. Well, let's move back. Give myself some room. Make sure you've got room to defend. This is number nine with turning kick and strike. Well, we've got to put on something else as well. Us. Good, nice busy screen, great battle. Let's move back, number 10. We know number 10 is a back kick and a ridge hand. So think of something else as well afterwards. Okay, here we go, Chun B. Seizure. Battle. Cool. And relax. Okay, good. Let's stop. Take on some water. Go and grab your water.
we're doing great. Okay, face this way. Chariot, Kyung Yang. Come to ready position the Ronnie Chun Bi, Sophie Chun Bi. So some of us know one step sparring, some of us don't. It's good fun to talk about it and just sneak it into the lower grades a little bit, especially the younger people, so we can get them thinking, get the, the brain training going and get, yeah, get their mind in the right place. Okay, so I need you to step forward and punch with your right hand when I say go, okay? Punch with your right hand. Ready? Go. So I made a middle block and reverse punch. I didn't step backwards, I stepped forwards. I stepped in, block and punch. And back to ready position, which is very similar to number one in three step sparring. Now I need you to punch with your left hand, exactly the same way. Ready? Go. So I did exactly the same defence as an opposite mirror image on the other side. Middle block, reverse punch. Okay, back to ready position. Now I'm going to attack with my right hand. I need you to do that defence. Middle block, reverse punch. Step in, block, or step back and block, whichever you prefer. But whatever we do on the one side, we do exactly the same as a mirror image on the other side. I'm going to attack with my right hand. I'm going to shout. As soon as I shout, I'm going to attack. Ready? Oh yeah! Oh. Now my left hand is going to attack. Oh yeah! Oh. Great. Okay. Your attack. Your attack. Right hand first, remember. Ready. Go. So I made a middle block in L stance as I stepped to the side and then made a back fist strike to the back of the head. Left punch. Ready. Chun B. Seizure. Arrow. Oh. So that, we can say, is very similar to number two in three-step sparring. The middle blocks and finish with a knife hand strike. The faster technique is to move in with a back fist, but it's very similar. So we can use everything we've learned in three-step sparring to using one-step sparring to develop that. So from now, I'm going to attack with my right hand and then my left hand. And I'm going to tell you when I'm going to start again. Right hand and left hand. I need you to think of something we did in three step sparring. Side kick, knife hand strike. Front kick, double punch. But bear in mind, we can use elbows and knee strikes as well. Okay. So, Chun So I'm going to attack with my right hand. Then I'm going to come back. Then I'm going to attack my left hand. Before I attack, I'm going to shout, so you know I'm coming. You need to respond to that. This is one step sparring. Ilbo Matsuki, Chun B, ready. It's always my right fist that's coming first. Uh. 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 Good, so remember whatever you're doing, do it quick because I'm not gonna stand there all day. I'm gonna move, you're gonna defend, block, strike, make me realize I'm not allowed to attack you. Shouldn't be, so defend yourself. So let's try and do something different now. This is the new attack. Whatever we do on this side, we try and do exactly the same in mirror image on this side. Ready? Oh yeah. Arrow. I'm coming again. Ready. Right side, then left side. <laughs> Defend yourself. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I 
No attack. Ready. Arrow. Remember not to take ages. Don't take too long. A few attacks. Barrel. So some people think about we'll do a block, a back fist, a ridge hand, a side kick, foot to foot, a back kick, reverse headbutt, bend down, grab their feet, trip them up. Stand. It's too long. It's too long. Okay. So a few techniques. Side kick. Back fist, reverse punch, knee strike, something like that, okay? Back fist, stamp down, elbow. Three or four techniques is great. New attack, right hand coming, chun B. Huh. Oh. My left hand's coming, ready. Huh. Oh. Okay, so we're just thinking of a new defence. So we're going to draw from three step sparring. I'll give you an example as well, okay? You guys are going to step forwards and punch with your right hand, okay? Chun B. Ready? Punch with your right hand. Go! A palm heel blocked. That was double punch then I'm sliding in over the top with an elbow into the face Chun B give me a punch with your left side your left hand punching ready go blocked it punch punch elbow okay so and as a, an example of what we can do you guys Punch again, right hand, ready, go. So I made, stepped in, knife hand block, palm to the face, pull back out, elbow straight after, Chun B, left hand attacking, go, block, palm, elbow so it's about where our feet are as well about moving in moving out creating the correct distance okay so this is one step sparring i'm going to make a few attacks i want you to defend yourself whatever we do for my right attack you defend you need to do the same when i do my left attack but in a mirror image ideally okay chariots kyung yai chun bi i'm doing all the attacking you guys doing all the defending so we'll say this is the first one. We'll try and do maybe five or six attacks. Chun B. Ready. Again, it's got to be fast. I'm not going to wait there all day. Left side. Arrow. Good. So whatever you're doing, be technical. Use the correct side of your foot, the correct foot shapes. Think about big knee strikes we can do, big elbow strikes. We can stamp down onto feet. We can kick below the belt towards groin as long as we don't make contact. This is good. Second attack. Good. So we're trying to build up an arsenal here. Build up a repertoire that we can use in gradings and in future training. Third attack from me, defend yourself. Good. My fourth attack is coming. Defend yourself. Ready. B. This is my fifth attack. Let's try and add a few more to the memory. Huh. Huh. 
Good. Now I'm going to do two more. This time I want to make sure you are using a combination of hands and feet, arms and legs, taekwondo, foot fist way, foot hand way of art. Okay, so think about blocking with your arms or maybe moving in to block, to preempt that technique. So I haven't got time to punch. You're coming in as soon as you see me move. Think about moving to the side as we're blocking. Think about moving to the open side, the closed side. Open side meaning opening up my body, closed side meaning block this way and open up the closed side. So something for the more advanced students to think about. I've got two more attacks. Number one right and left and number two right and left. So do something a bit more advanced. Ready, Chun Bi. I think I landed that punch on some of you guys then. Last one for this session. Here we go. Be strong. One step sparring. Defend yourself. Good work, guys. How are we all doing? All right? Brilliant. Okay, good. Take a sip. Okay, I'm going to finish with some um, kicking techniques because we're quite warm. Just for fun, we'll do some jumping kicks. Okay, so we've got right leg back, Chun Bi. So I'm going to count. We're going to try jumping front kick and land kicking leg forwards, both sides, I'm going to count. Then we're also going to try jumping side kick, both sides. Then we're going to try jumping turning kick on both sides and we'll try and finish with a jumping back kick. Okay, we've got different aids, different grades, different abilities. Let's have a look. Okay, right leg back, Chun Bi. This is jumping front kick. We are only going to do four kicks or four counts on each kick okay so this is jumping front kick we're changing legs every time ready got to jump high got to kick fast one two three changing legs every time four so kicking leg lands forwards now we're switching to jumping turning kick ready Hannah Do. Set. Net. And slightly more difficult technically is jumping side kick. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Here we go for jumping back kick. Jumping back kick, okay. Really technical kick. Make sure we jump high, spin fast, kick with a long leg, get that back in, and we land solid on the floor. Here we go. Hannah. Land with that kicking leg forwards, ready to go again. Try not to bounce. Dull. Dead jump. Great, here we go. Set. Net. Good work. Okay, great class today. Really good to see so many mixed numbers in. Mixed age, mixed ability, mixed grade. Fantastic. Little stretch off to finish. Okay, hands on your hips. Big circles round in one direction. Change direction. Good. Push your hips forwards and backwards. And we'll go side to side. Excellent. Okay, feet together. Big deep breath in, stretch up. Reach down as low as you can. Push, 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 push. Hold it for 10 seconds. And 
and back up. Let's go to parallel stance. Again, big deep breath in, stretch up, reach down, get as low as you can. Again, we're just going to push down for 10 seconds. And back up, a little bit wider. Go as wide as you can if you've got room. I've not got much room. Last 10 seconds, big deep breath in, stretch up, down and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, hold it, four, push down, three, two, one. And relax, stand up, shake your legs off. Excellent class today, guys. Well done. Thank you all for joining me. We will finish there. Cheers. Kyung Yai. See you tomorrow, Workout Wednesday.